hi everyone welcome back to the channel today we got some exciting news for all you switch emulators lovers out there that's the easy emulator has just dropped its latest update um, and it is version 0.05 and it is packed with some major enhancements especially for those of you with mali gpu so in this update Usui has not only optimized performance for Mali processors, but has also introduced support for custom drivers installation. And in today's video, we are going to dive into the change logs, break down what is new and test out a few games using these custom drivers installation options. So stick around to see how this update could take your gaming experience to the next level. Now before I continue, I just want to remind everyone that if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because your support means a lot to me and help me to continue creating content like this. So please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and let's get back to today's topic. So um, let's talk about the Uzui emulator. Okay, so it is a powerful Nintendo Switch emulator for Android devices. And what really sets Uzui apart is its support for custom GPU drivers on Mali GPU devices. It's a new feature that has been missing in the main Uzui emulator and many of its forks. This update is a significant step forward as installing custom drivers is a crucial for getting the best performance out of Switch emulation. Okay, so um, with Uzui emulator, you can enjoy a wide range of Nintendo Switch titles directly on your phone. The emulator offers a smooth gameplay and high quality graphics, so uh, making it a great option for mobile gamers. And its user-friendly interface and efficient performance make it easy to use, even on mid-range Android devices. Okay, so um, let's dive in into the installation process. Then after after the installation process, um, I will install some drivers and then and test out a few games and test out a few games with this option and see the kind of performance that I will get. So stick around and let's dive in into the process. Okay, so let's try and install the new Uzi emulator. So before you can install the emulator. You have to uninstall the old version and then download the new version. I'll provide the download link for that. So this is the new version and it is version 0.05. And I have here with me with all my Mali GPU drivers. So um, after installing the emulator, I'll test out some games and see the performance I'll get in this big update so first of all let's install the emulator okay select your product keys add the folder that contains your games files Take in deep scan. Okay, we are done. Okay, so um we are done with the settings and um as you can see I have here with me the option. I mean the this option is enable meaning we can install custom drivers. So I'm going to install some drivers and test out some games with the install drivers so let's install our custom drivers first okay so um our drivers is in a zip format so we have to install it i mean we have to extract it first and to do that use Z archiver and open the drivers section and then 
single press it and select the third one which says extract to so this is the folder that contains our mali drivers so let's open this place and then locate the folder that contains our drivers so now we can install our mali drivers okay so we are done with the installation of the drivers so um i'll be testing out some games with it and before i do that i need to activate the correct drivers that goes with my device so first of all let's check the mali gpu version of my device and to do that you can use the cpu z to check okay so my device here i have google pixel 6 pro which comes as mali g78 i mean my gpu is mali g78 so meaning um i will test a game with mali g78 drivers and when we look here we can see mali g78 over here so um if your device have dimensity probably you have to choose this okay so um i, do, I don't know much about dimensity but you can try out these drivers which works better for you so um as at now i'll be going with mali g78 Okay, so the first game that I'm going to test is Bayonetta. I have here with me Bayonetta 2. So I'll be testing out this game and see the performance.
legend of Ace. A legend from the dawn of time. Nobody knows where the world came from. A struggle caused the trinity of realities to be split into three realms. Light, darkness, and chaos. Obviously, our world was the one born from chaos. The three worlds all needed rulers. Most of all, ours. And the one that ruled the chaos became known as Aesir. First eternity quietly looking upon the earth in this holy mountain. Where we only see reality and make it match our rules of the world, Aesir saw through reality, and those visions became our. Observations became Aesir's power. Aesir's eyes were truly the eyes that created the world. However, Aesir pitied the humans for their naivete and lack of free will. So the power he wielded was split into two equal halves and entrusted each to humanity's instincts the right eye of light, and the left eye of darkness. eyes of AC, humans gained free will. They could now choose. With control of the eyes of the world, the eyes that determine destiny, humans could choose their own paths. They awoke to their own identities. The most feeble thing in nature, but now we were thinking it, and we took our first big step towards grand prosperity. The inheritors of the eyes of Aesir have been granted the power of creation.
cheeky. No one bothered telling.